Hi everyone, my name is Eric and this is another video with rendering and movie making tips for Dragonfly. Today we will showcase how to use different types of visuals, more precisely how to use volume, meshes and multi-ROI together. So in our scene we currently have a volume, we also have a mesh representing local thickness, and we have a multi-ROI of the porosities inside the part. So let's bring back the volume in our view and once again let's apply the grayscale solid preset. Then let's add the multi ROI to the view. We can use the clip box to see the labels inside the part. Selecting the multi ROI, I will then adjust the highlight, diffuse, and specular settings. And finally, let's add the thickness mesh to the mix. We can use the clip box of the volume to also clip the mesh. So let's expand the clip panel of the volume and let's check the thickness mesh. We can decide for each affected visual if the box will clip its inside or outside. So in this case, we wish to clip the inside of the mesh, so we will leave the checkbox uh, uh, unchecked. So dragging any face of the clip box, we can see it perfectly separates the volume and the mesh. We can also modify the opacity of the mesh so it can reveal the multi-ROI of the porosities inside. Now let's make a video with what we have so far. We will reset the opacity of the mesh and the clip box of the volume. And because we want to start like this, we will update the first keyframe. We will zoom in and I will clip the volume to start revealing the thickness mesh. Then we can hide the clip box and add a keyframe. Now let's modify the opacity of the mesh so we can show the multi ROI inside. I will move the camera around and add another keyframe. We will restore the opacity of the mesh and turn again and I will then enable the edge contrast of, vol of the volume, but at 100% so that there is no visual impact, but it will be ready to be used in the next keyframe with a smooth transition. After adding a keyframe, we're now ready to modify the threshold of the edge contrast and add another keyframe. Then we'll turn around, zoom in and add a keyframe. One more time. I will then restore the edge contrast threshold and reset the clip plane before adding another keyframe. Then we zoom out and add one last keyframe. 